<laughs> it's moving day. Almost moving day. The packers are coming to pack all my stuff. Um, I do not live at my mom's, even though a lot of videos are filmed there. I do live in my own place. So here it is. Um, I'm going to bring my bike with me and then movers are moving and all this stuff. These are some clothes that I need to pack up in luggage that I'm gonna take with me. This is my computer setup. Um, I'm taking this with me. And this is my bed, pretty much torn down, ready to go. Another nightstand over there. out my clothes. I don't need you to pick out my clothes. I don't think I have clothes. So Lexi wanted to come over with Annie Rachel. No baby, these are, I'm packing these. You can help me pack them tomorrow in the luggage, okay? This is you. Will you help me pack them in the luggage tomorrow? No. So, so yeah. Lexi wanted to come and hang out with Annie Rachel, right? Yeah, we got some candy. Yeah, we got some candy. <laughs> And I do have some things to try out, Lex, somewhere. And I had my good friend bring me a present. I'm so excited. This is the MSR, let me get it right, wind burner stove system. So I've never had a stove like this before. I'm super excited about it because the cooking thing is like, it's just awesome. And so then I bought this pan for it. It fits on there, so we'll have to try that out, do a review on that. But I'm so excited. And then I also got some Charleston chews. And have you ever had these? Yeah, so he made fun of me because he said that I should do a review on them. So let's do that. Lexi, should you try you wanna try the strawberry? Let's do this. Let's try the strawberry. What are they? They're Charleston Chews, man. They're from like the 1920s. What are they? Charleston Chews. What are they? Charleston Chews. What are they? Do you need a hearing aid? No. I can't get it. I can get it. Hey, wait. Does it have a year on it? I can get it. Rachel, I can get it. Okay. So this is, it's got like a, I don't know if it's a nougat or whatever in there, but this no, one's vanilla, well, so this one's vanilla covered in chocolate, and then this one is vanilla. No. Do you want to try it? I'm sorry, yes, you're right. This one is strawberry. Do you want to no. try it first? Strawberry. Lexi, do you want to try it first? No. Come here, baby. I don't want to. Come here. It is for you. That's my bathroom. Okay, let's do this. Come on, let's do it. Cheers. Break it in half. Okay. Just no. Dude, really pull it. It's good. Cheers. I guess. Do you like chocolate covered strawberries? Do you like strawberries covered in chocolate? Mm -hmm. Okay then. You like this. This is good. I don't think I've ever had the strawberry flavor. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. Do you want to try the vanilla? The vanilla you'll like the vanilla. You wanna try it? Oh, I just it's because I didn't try the chocolate. Will you try this? Yes. Okay, can you open it? Yeah, I'm just going to over here. Yeah. Remember? I feel like it. Oh, crap. It's already stuck. It's what? It's stuck right here. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to miss you. Can I take you with me? Why? Never. I can't. Why? I'm so freaking out.
I'll let you come and visit your mommy. But that's my mommy. But she has four kids and I don't have any. You can have some. Can, which, but not me. Which one can I have then? Hallie. I can have Hallie? Yeah. Yeah. No. How come? You don't like Hallie. Do you mm -hmm. like Hallie? No. Yes, you do. Sometimes. No. <laughs> yes, you do. Are you serious? Okay, let's do this. Come on, no, let's just bite ja it. Jackson has like something that he watches his It show. exploded. Look at it. No. Oh, oh my gosh, you're taking so long. Garbage. Are we going to eat this tonight or? No. I won this. I won this for a bet. I don't remember what the bet was, but all that matters is I won. Okay, let's show that thing. Show that. Whoa. No. Look at the brat. Okay, can you hold it like still? Not make people sick? It's exploded. Okay, try it. I promise you this. I like this strawberry, but you will like this. This is better. This is a good flavor. Are we gonna do cheers? Okay. Do you want me to help you? You're, I just vacuumed. Dude, what the, Lexi? <laughs> Lexi, you got chocolate. Oh no! <laughs> I'm taking you back home. No. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Dude, that's violent. <laughs> yeah, I can't. What? What? <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna make you vacuum. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> no, baby, buddy, let me. Can I do it? What do you think? Talk to me, girlfriend. Talk to me, girlfriend. Chewy. Mm-hmm. Uh. You like that chocolate? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so good. I love the chew of it. Charleston chew! I'm gonna vacuum all this crap up. Yep, because of me. No. What do you say? No. No deal? No deal. Do you like a Snickers better? Yes. Okay, will you stop doing that? I'm getting chocolate everywhere. Okay. We are going to wrap this up and go to bed. Right? <laughs> and then Lexi's gonna help the packers, the movers tomorrow. You're gonna help the movers move my couch, okay? No. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Mwah. Yay. Hi. It's my Rachel. And bye bye. Pray press this. Bye guys, thank you for watching Rachel's channel. Lexi's helping me pack. Open the window, it's hot now. The movers are here. So we're trying to separate the stuff I'm taking from the stuff that's moving. Do you know another song? You don't? Are you sure? Alright. I don't know.
know if I'm going to be able to fit all this in here. I think I'm bringing too many clothes. Rachel, you're moving. You need a lot of clothes. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm driving with too many clothes. You know, Joe? I'm not Joe. Oh. Lex. Are, you're Lexi? Yeah. Lexi Rachel? Yeah. Lexi Rachel? Yeah. The best Lexi I know. Lexi, am I going to be able to put all these clothes in that bag? No. You don't think? Yeah. I'm going to. You watch. I'm going to do it. I can do it. Look, at I have these two I need to put in there. Don't knock those piles over. Oh my gosh, I have to put all these in there, Lex. See, I told you. It's going to happen. It's not to happen. Yeah, it is. Have faith. Lexi's giving me a tutorial on the snappy chat. Right, Lex? Right yes. Everything the, uh, pillows and, uh, the, I'm keeping these, um, but this? just these, Rachel. but okay. yeah, all the, everything Rachel. else is going. All right. Rachel. Okay, you got have something back in the dresser? There's some good? clothes in the dresser, yeah, oh, okay. but they're going. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Rachel, look. Oh, it's so pretty. Hi. Hi. Is it recording? Can you record it? Let's say something. Hi. Hi, aren't we so gorgeous? Oh my Hi. gosh, I'm beautiful. Look at my eyes. They look like ice. Ooh la la. It's still recording. You're recording too much. Okay, you're done. That's how I ax it. I axed it because I don't know how to keep it. So you were you destroyed it? Yep. I need to post it, dude. Do you, do you know how? Yeah, I think. Do you know how? No. I thought you knew how to do Snapchat. I thought you were teaching me how to do Snapchat. I don't know how to do that. What's the cast? Oh. Meow. Meow. How come I can't? Oh, look how cute I am. I'm a, yep, that's it. I'm a little ah. kitten. Moving is tiring. I'm glad I don't have to do it all. I fell asleep on you. I'm so tired still. The movers are still here, huh, Lex? No, not anymore. Well, yeah, but they're still here doing, they're going to get lunch. They're kind of taking forever. My place isn't very big. Now, huh? But yeah, things are kind of moving along. Dude, I'm a little bit worried that I'm packing way too much stuff in my car. I'm not really sure how I'm going to fit everything in my car. Ooh. I don't really know how I'm going to do that, Lex. How am I going to fit everything in my car? How are we going to do that? Rachel, I can't carry it. Dude, the guys are too short. They can't see this stuff back there in the back of how to get this stuff out. I had to get this stuff out of the shelves for them because they couldn't reach I it. I know they're sure. I, I can tell because you have to get those stuff, huh? Yeah. That's okay. Oh man, they can't. They can't reach this either. <laughs> you want these? These are mints. You don't? I don't like. Probably can't reach this up here. I got stuff. 
stuff up here. That they can't reach. <laughs> but you can, huh? Yeah. That's funny. That they can't. I gotta take this. Oh, but yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, I can't see that stuff. I need to take this. They, he's way short to get that, huh? Yeah, way short. I need them to take my magnets, okay? No. They need to take my magnets. Rachel, do they have to take your pictures? What do you mean my pictures? No, my pictures that I give you. No, I'll, t I'll take those, okay? I don't want, I don't want them to take that one. <gasps> okay, let's go get food, okay? Can you carry me there? I'll carry you a little bit. And you gotta carry me, okay? No. Please. Fine. So you have to carry me first. Okay. They're done. They're done. They're done. Look at all this stuff left though that I have to put in my car. What am I gonna do? That is the giveaway that we're going to do shortly. We're gonna pick it out of a hat, right, Lex? And some of this stuff is going to go to my sisters, and yeah, I need to organize some of that stuff, and yeah, that's some more stuff, so fun. And I have a bunch of bathroom stuff, but it's all pretty clean. Yeah, they took forever, like that was the longest move ever. Um, yeah. They were pretty slow, like the dude was sitting down on my couch, wrapping stuff. But it's done, I didn't have to do it, so that's cool. So, um, it's Friday. I gotta finish cleaning this place eventually. I am hitting the road on Tuesday, so this is gonna be a multi-day vlog. And now we're just gonna get a little bit of stuff together and then go to Lexi's house, huh? I am finally getting everything packed up. I still have a little bit more to do, so... That's gonna be my sleeping quarters. I'm actually just gonna try out sleeping in my car because the military does not pay for hotels. So I have, um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to need to figure out how to get in my car. It's gonna be a little concerning, so I'm going to also take my bike. And I have some stuff, I have some stuff in the bathroom still. I'm a little concerned to be honest with you. I don't know if I can fit all this in here. If I wasn't sleeping in my car, I could fit it just fine. But it's gonna be interesting. So the Colonel's coming over because she wants to help out and it's really late, but gotta get on the road and head out. Picking up my camp gear. Oh gosh. So I'm not taking all this. Um, just taking some of my camping stuff. So that and my boxes here. And there's the kernel. You're gonna take all this stuff? Yeah. This is my camping stuff. I have to take it. So this is gonna be fun. And um, I rearranged this the other day, so if I'm ever missing, like in Utah, it's probably because I've finally met my demise. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna do this. Here we go. You don't think it's gonna happen, huh? Where's the, I can't see the. You have to turn, you're facing it towards you. <laughs> okay, so 
That's my mini bike. You guys haven't seen my mini bike yet because I broke it. Is it working now? No, I haven't fixed it. I haven't gotten it fixed. And I'm just going to leave it in Utah. Because if I do use it, it would be here that I use it, really. So yeah, so we're gonna get this loaded up and see how it goes. If I absolutely, absolutely need to, which I hope I don't, um, I will use my cargo hitch carrier. That's what I carry my mini bike on and that's a the motorcycle chalk. So yeah, I'm a bit concerned. We'll see how it goes. Yep, so I'm still not out of Utah yet. Had a bit of an issue getting all my stuff packed in the car. I have way too much stuff, like I thought. Oh, way too much. There's kind of my bed. Those are blankets. Um, but this will just go in my front seat when I'm sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. All my camping stuff is up there along with some other luggage. Whoa. And so I didn't finish until after nine getting my car done. Hopefully that's all in there secure. Um, so my mom did wash my clothes for me, okay, because I was all sweaty and I slept at my mom's last night. And I'm about ready to hit the road. I think I'm somewhere outside of Omaha at a rest stop and um, today's been quite the drive. Before I left Utah I picked up a breakfast burrito from a gas station and it was like a sausage and biscuits and gravy and just the, I was just talking about it, it makes me sick. So I'm pretty sure that's what made me sick today because that's what I've been doing today and uh, over the course of the day, all of the contents from my body have exited in various ways. I will spare you the details, but um, I finally found some Pepto-Bismol. This was kind of hard to come by at a couple of the gas stations I had to stop at. They only had junk food, so I do not need any of that. I am all tuckered in and my mom says I need to get a uh, hotel but I'm too frugal for that and I really don't need it because I don't sleep well and I get tired throughout the day so I'm just going to drive when I am not tired and then when I get tired I can pull over and take a nap, take a rest, whatever. So it's kind of a relief for me because I'll be able to drive there, um, get there a lot sooner. And initially I was going to make like daily vlogs out of this video, but I think that I'm just going to end up doing a video from start to finish. And I was going to visit a couple national parks, one in Colorado, the Rocky Mountain National Park, and then Kentucky, the Mammoth Cave National Park, but there's some closures, quite a lot in Rocky Mountain with the weather and some closures in Mammoth Cave. So between getting on the road a couple days late, having to get a bunch of stuff done and now not feeling so hot, um, I just need to get there. So I will be staying with my sister for a while. Um, she actually lives in my old apartment that I lived in for four years, so it's kind of weird going back to work with a lot of the same people and stay in the same apartment, but should be good. I'm looking forward to it. And um, I'm going to get
get some rest now, rest my neck because it's been pretty sore. I think from all my car packing yesterday. Excuse me. So I have all my Reflectix up and I got a new uh, a new uh, windshield cover for the front that covers a lot better. It's made for this car so I'm just gonna relax and hopefully not have to get out of the car in the night and go inside to use the restroom but um and then get on the road again. Everything stayed on very well. So this is where I slept. I slept very good. Actually, it was nice and warm. It's 30 degrees. Ooh, my hands are cold. 30 degrees. And, uh, Gonna drive to off of Air Force Base now. Oh, excuse me, and shower. It's about seven o'clock, and then uh, continue on our journey. So I did not have any incidents last night. That was good, and uh, I'm not gonna eat anytime soon. Just to make sure I'm feeling okay. But um, let's hit the road. Here we are at Offutt Air Force Base. This is the indoor gym. It's crazy huge. So we are gonna go shower. And it took me a few hours to get here. But it was well worth it. I'm expecting to hopefully get into DC tomorrow late afternoon, so we'll see. Tennis courts running track. Well, that was fun. Women's showers are under renovation. So they had uh, the downstairs men's bathroom open. So those were open bay showers. Super great. I'm really not a fan of open bay showers. Is that how a lot of guys Locker rooms, locker rooms are on military installations. I know that the women's is not like that because I drove and did the same thing on my way back to Utah and they have separate stalls, which I like and prefer my privacy. So, but I am very glad to have a shower. It feels great. Um, I didn't have a huge audience, but you know, just do your thing and get out of there. Now I am going to go over to the commissary, maybe get some food. It's a bit later in the day than I expected because um, I was actually about five hours away from here. This morning I was nowhere near Omaha. So um, I'm going to see about eating a little something and then continue on my way. I am all ready to head out. I went to the commissary, which is... Um, essentially a grocery store for people who don't know. Topped off at the gas station, got some ginger ale, got a little food. And I'm gonna get back on the road and I have no cell phone service so I am so glad I bought this. One of the items that I bought after I got stranded in Capitol Reef National Park. So I want to go down through Kentucky actually. I usually go up through Illinois but a friend of mine lives up there and said that it's crummy weather and roads so 
and I kind of want to drive more through West Virginia because I think it's really beautiful there. So I'm just trying to figure out my route and I will be on my way. Feeling okay, so I'm gonna eat, uh, I think some carrots. Got some carrots and some peanut butter, some crackers. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I could eat a little bit more than I did. I just had carrots and a banana. I did have a pop tart, but things are not agreeing with me. So um, I just want to show my sleeping quarters. It got really chilly last night. So I had to get out my other blanket, which is weird because last night I wasn't as cold and I could just sleep in my sleeping bag here but it's actually very 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 comfortable just um, a bit crowded and it was really cold really cold so you know these bags say that they're 20 degrees but and it it was honestly in the low 30s so I don't think they're very accurate and I probably sleep really cold so Anyway, I'm um, gonna get on the road soon. It's looking like I'll be in um, DC tonight, so that I'll be good. I'll, I'll be sleeping in my car tonight. But, excuse me, my um, load is doing well. My tarp is gonna go in the garbage when I'm all done, but. The load is doing very well. Um, no movement. The bike, I'm really glad I bought this bike rack because I didn't want to have to put my bike on the back of my car and I don't have an, a hitch bike rack so I bought this thing that you don't have to take any wheels off and I'm really glad except there's a lot of wasted space right under it. But is working well, so I'm gonna head out of here. <laughs> before I reach my destination and I am so looking forward to it. I'm not quite sure exactly what time it is because my clock has not updated. Driving through the time zones. One thing I want to talk about quickly uh, has to do with bodily functions. So if you don't want to hear about this, then you will have to exit now. Otherwise, uh, I'm not going to go into great detail. I think I am going to do a more in-depth review on this as much as I possibly can. But I bought these Travel Jane cups and I absolutely love them. They are disposable urinals for women. And they do have Travel John cups. I don't know what they look like if they look any different but um, I got these because if you watch my channel you may be aware okay that I have to get up in the night and use the restroom if you've picked up in that I don't know but anyway it's really annoying so when I camp I really hate having to go to the restroom or get out because like I'm kind of freaked out by bears sometimes and all that stuff so um 
I was looking to see what people, what females in particular, use for options if they are traveling in a vehicle, if there were any options. And that's when I came across this item. So I bought it. I did not get a chance to test it out before I went on my trip, but it was the middle of the night on my first night and it was cold. And I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna try it out. So this is what it looks like. Um, like I said, I'll do a, a, a separate video for this uh, for a review. So if any ladies out there are, in inter are interested in this, please do let me know. Uh, this is a multi-use item as long as, because I think the, yeah, the fill line is, you can use it until it's full, which is right here. So yeah, I love this and I'm going to buy more. So stay tuned. But anywho, um, I'll be, like I said, I'll be staying with my sister. I'm going to stay with her actually for a while, a few months at least, probably if we don't kill each other. And because, I mean, I can really save a lot of money doing that. So I'm going to utilize my free storage that the military gives me for as long as I can. And that's also a reason why I packed so much stuff. Otherwise, I would not have traveled with this many items, uh, but I wanted to be able to go camping and, you know, have my bike and all that stuff. So it was pretty inconvenient in that sense um, to travel with so many items, but hopefully it'll all work out and my sister and I get along okay. Um, might be somewhat busy, so... Anywho, here is to a new year and a new start, semi-new start, um, even though I'm going to be going back to work for my boss I've worked for before, and then staying for now in the place I used to live. So, looking forward to it. Um, it'll be a different spin for my YouTube channel since I'm not out west, and I really do like the outdoors out west better, but we'll see what the east coast has to offer. I do know when I lived here before, I thought to myself, man, I should have brought my camping gear. I didn't expect there to be any mountains at all, so we will see how it all works out. Anyway, um, just wanted to finish out this travel slash moves vlog, whatever you want to call it before I um, arrive at my destination and um, look forward to what is to come. Thank you for watching. Bye.